Hi everyone! In this video, we are going to cover how to create the bottom that cancels specific data in the specific cell. Additionally, we will make the bottom that cancels a group of the cells. And we will also develop a bottom that cancels no consecutive ranges in Excel. As a bonus, we will create the return bottom that doesn't exist. In case of the mistake, you can come back to previous action. Before you start, you need to know a few things. The first one. When you have created the Excel file, it is necessary to save it in the Excel macro enable workbook format. The second one. Go to Review and click on Options Accessibility. Customize the ribbon. And the most important thing is that all the checkbox should be checked. And the third thing. You have to go to Developer and choose Visual Basic. Here we are going to write our VBI code. Don't forget to create the module. Go to Insert and choose module. So, here we are. Let's go. Let's write our formula. We start. Sub, clear single cell, open and close the barrels. Go down and write. Range, open the barrel, quotes. We select the cell where we wanted to cancel the data that we should be cleared. In this case is E6. Close the bars. Point. And here, there are different type of options, like clear, clear comments, clear contents, formats. In this case, we need to choose clear contents. Ok, as soon as you dare, just press on the button run the formula. As the result, all our data will be cleaned. But you will ask me now, how to create the bottom? Let's go also with the bottom. So, go to developer, choose insert, and click on the bottom. Design our bottom, select our assign macro. As the result, we got our bottom, press on it, and all the data will be cleaned. As the following step, we are going to create the bottom that clear the group of the cells. Let's create the new module and write our code. Sub, clear a single cell, open and close the bars, then range, open the bars uh, quotes, select the first cell, in this case it is G5. And select the last cell of the last column, in this case L24. Point. And just add the clear contents. Press on the run button and the formula will run. The next step is go to developer, insert, and let's design our button. As soon as you design it, just choose the right formula. In case if you wanna modify the button, right click of the mouse and choose edit text. Everything is ready. Let's test it. As we can see, it works pretty good. Ok guys, let's move forward and create the bottom that clear non-consecutive ranges. So, here we are. Let's go. Sub, clear multi-ranges, open and close the bars, then range, open the bar quotes, you select the first cell of the first column, in this case it is E6. And we select the last cell of the same column, in this case it is F8. Then we select the single cell, H7, comma, and we select the cells of the last column, like G10 and K12. After that we have to choose clear. The next step is to add the bottom. But in this case we are going to use our shapes. Just go to insert, select the shape, and design it in the specific spaces. Of course, you can also modify the color and the text of our shapes. But the most important thing is, double click on the shape and choose our macro formula. So guys, everything is ready. Just press on the bottom and you will see that everything will be cleared. Since this moment, let's go for the bonus. The problem is, if you have created the clear bottom, the link you will find in the top right corner. You will see that after pressing on it, everything will be cleared. But you don't have any possibility to come back to previous action. Because arrows are also not working. And if you are going to press on the counter Z, nothing will happen. Guys, let's go to write our formula. As usual, you need to open our Visual Basic. And in the beginning, we are going to create the store deleted content, writing this code. The next step is, we are going to create the bottom that clear the specific range. 
In this case, it is uh, the cells uh, between E6 and F8, H7 and uh, between J10 and K12. And the last part of the code, we are going to restore our specific ranges. Everything is almost ready, we are going to assign the macro formula to our bottom. The first is a clear bottom, and of course the second one is restore one. So guys, everything is ready, let's test our bottoms. Pressing on the clear, we clean our data, and if you press on the return, it is going to return everything. That is amazing. Support to grow this channel. Put your like and subscribe.